Okay, so next up is Untamed Strength in Sacramento. Now, Untamed Strength is owned and run by Alan Frawl. Um, you may have seen some of his stuff online. Uh, I know I've been watching a lot of his videos for quite some time now. Um, and if I'm being honest, a lot of Alan's content has really helped me with just understanding the basics of programming and some of the strongman events and things like that um, throughout the last couple of years. So um, definitely had to put in a session when I was in town. Um, I also ended up changing up my plan and doing two sessions back to back at his gym. Um, day one was really good. Day two was really good too, but I was definitely feeling it um, and had to drop the weights a little bit. Um, it was amazing to be there. Alan's such a great guy, um, really welcoming, made me feel at home. A lot of his team, the guys there in the gym were really friendly. Um, and I suppose this is what it's all about. I broke off a lot of my training just to talk shit with a lot of people there for a, for a while. And, and you know, that's what I'm enjoying right now. So um, really good couple of days, really good couple of days of training. Um, I'm definitely feeling beat up now. Uh, I'm in Sac um, San Francisco, in fact, um, about to have a day's rest and eat as much food as possible. Um, but I'm gonna quickly show you around the gym and then we'll get to the training. So as you walk in, he's got his big rack with all his kegs, bags, Husfeld stones. The Atlas stone platform is, is incredible, really nice. Um, lots and lots of tires. We're gonna loop around and you're just gonna catch the tire that almost broke me, the 800 pounder. A um, Couple of logs, a Beast Metals log was really nice. Um, Lots and lots of racks. I know Alan's probably shown a lot of this in his videos. I'm just looping around quickly. Um, a couple of decent leg press and hack squat machines, which I didn't use, but um, I always like to show the bars, a big variety of bars here, which is always good, and then the logo. So, day one. Um, started off on the log, um, the Beast Metals log, as I just mentioned. Um, worked up to a heavy single. So this was the second heaviest, 118 kilos or 260. And this was actually scrappier than the next rep. Um, fairly happy with it, but the next rep, um, 270 pounds, so 122.5. So we're getting close to what my max is, um, and it moved, yeah, so much easier than that weight's ever moved before. So I'm really happy with that. Um, I dropped it down afterwards, so three sets of three, at 109, 240, key, uh, 240 pounds. Pretty comfortable. Um, I probably didn't need to like kick my leg back and do somewhat of a jerk with it. I could have just done more of a push jerk, push press, but sort of had that movement ingrained in me from the earlier, heavier singles. Um, but it was pretty comfortable, it wasn't too bad. A couple of the, one of the other sets was a bit scrappy, but now yolk, I'm really happy with this. So this is 313 kilos, um, and I think it's around about 20 meters each way. Um, so to move it like this, the, the first run was pretty smooth and quick. This is a little bit scrappy, but the speed is still okay. Um, the yokes I've done on this trip have been quite light. I did the one over at Alpha Omega in Phoenix, around about 270 some, which was a bit heavy, but not too bad. Um, but anyway, I moved up, and this is actually the heaviest yoke I've ever moved with, 740 pounds, 336 kilos. I've never gone over, I think it's 327 kilos. Um, so I only did one way, gave myself a break and then came back. Um, but I'm really happy with how that moved, but this was also a reason why day two was, was sort of affected. Um, this second run was pretty quick, if I'm being honest, I'm quite happy with that. However, I've got to let you in on a secret, I dropped it just there and had two or three more steps to go. But look at that, rocket, dropped it down for some speed work, so quick. <laughs> um, so yeah. A couple of heavy runs, 313 kilos, 336. Then it was four runs at 227, 500 pounds. Um, now, the tire. I keep saying in videos, I've, ha I've moved some heavy tires. This tire defeated me. I thought 800 pounds, 364, get some threes, some fours, maybe even a set of five. No. I even left it there because I wasn't sure whether I'd flip it again. I ended up doing five singles. It was an absolute nightmare. Um, it was really fun. Um, I probably attempted it 15 times and flipped it five times. I mean, pathetic. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, let's blame it on a yoke. Um, and then I finished up with just some sort of accessory, speed acceleration type work behind the neck, six by three, minute rest. I'm liking all this sort of stuff uh, right now. Um, yeah, 
nothing too heavy, nothing too exciting, but just showing you what I did. Same principle on the squats, 147 kilos, 55 pound bar, so 3, 325 pound, uh, 325 pounds. Um, six by three again. Moving fairly well, not too bad. For the end of the session, I just decided to flip it around and do my barbell work at the end instead of at the beginning. See how it affected on my strongman stuff, and it affected, and it, it was good because I hit a pretty smooth single on the log and a PB on the yoke. So I'm happy with that. Day two had the best plan, but felt like an absolute broken man that morning. So Axel worked up some singles. So. Do as I say, not as I do. I'm being quite reckless. Heavy singles on the log, then heavy singles on the axle the following day. Um, I've got no program, I'm just doing what I, what, what I feel like doing. So, anyway, 125 kilos, moved fairly well. Um, snapped it up fairly nicely. Pretty happy with that. And then I decided to put in some rep work. So I dropped it down to 93 kilos, 205, which coincidentally is pretty much body weight right now. Um, I thought I'd be heavier, but I'm not. Um, 10 reps, it took me about 1 minute 35, 1 minute 40 seconds. Uh, clearly I've sped this video up. Um, yeah, I need to work on that. In the Southern England's qualifier, um, in prep, I got 12 reps in 1 minute 10 seconds at 90 kilos. And in competition, I think it was 10 or 11 in a minute. Um, so yeah, my... Uh, I don't know if it's cardio or just out of practice, but yeah. Anyway, after that, I moved on to like a medley with the, I think it's called the Dead Sled by Mike Bartos, the MB Power Center stuff. Um, it's like a frame carry into an arm over arm. Not heavy, uh, six lots at like this. I'm just gonna show you two and I've clearly sped it up because um, it's not too exciting. Um, and it was pretty much the first couple I was chatting to a guy in between, but after that it was sort of do the run, reset all the equipment and the rope, go again. So pretty minimal rest. More of a conditioning focus, because my body was just so beat and broken from the other day. Um, I wanted to put in work, but yeah. And then a really light sandbag and keg medley. Um, sandbag one way, keg back, sort of stop recording, log it in my phone, take a sip of my drink and then go again. That was sort of how I was managing the rest period, um, nice and quick. I had to get on the road to get down here to San Francisco so I didn't have much time left. Um, it was all right, yeah, not heavy at all. You're looking at like 60, 70 kilos, something like that each implement. Um, but yeah, it was just, just work basically, just putting in some work. Um, and yeah, it was good fun. And then I finished off similar to the session the day before with some sort of, I'd done a press and a squat the day before to finish off, so it's a row and, and a hinge um, to finish. Um, I just thought I'd try underhand rows. Haven't done them since like when I used to train like a bodybuilder. Um, and my biceps were feeling it from like the carrying events and the arm over arms. I thought I might as well involve the biceps even more, um, give them a bit of work. And then finish up with some banded deadlifts, so 315 pounds. The orange band, so a little bit heavier band tension than usual, um, which, yeah, I quite enjoyed it. I'm quite happy with the speed there as well, it's not too bad. Um, and that was it. That was two days worth of training, um, pretty much like six sets on everything. Um, I don't know why I'm enjoying a number six, everything seems to be a multiple of six, like six by three or six by six or something like that. Um, basically, my little log that I've got in my phone has six like spaces after each line. So I'm like, right, I might as well do six sets of everything. That's pretty much my logic, um, not really any logic at all. Um, but yeah, Untamed Strength was a great environment to train at. Um, similar to some of the other gyms I've been at, watching the YouTube videos of the guys that run it for so long and then turning up at those gyms and training there is a bit, is a bit surreal. Uh, Alan's just the same guy you see on the videos, a really cool guy. Um, everyone in the gym was really welcoming and friendly. I'm really happy with that. I mean, I'm gonna have to make a trip back here at some point. Um, but yeah, I am well and truly beat. Uh, I am going to be training in, on Saturday. I'm recording this on a Thursday evening, so I will be having a day's rest and then training again, but that's probably going to be more barbell focused because, yeah, I just can't, can't deal with another strongman day. Just some basic barbell stuff for, for a day or two. Um, and yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. The next one will be coming soon. Thanks, bye.